What differentiates Candida's work from those with a similar subject matter, I think, is a persistent interest in the seemingly most simple of perspectives. The image that comes to my mind when I think of Candida's work is an image of stillness, an image of calmly observing, of waiting for a particular space to unfold. I think that her work really uh, is like a suspension uh, of time. You look into these uh, photographs and as into a timeless moments of space where certain suspense make sure you don't exactly know the action that has happened or will happen, but you have a very strong energy of that action. I think Candida captures the essence of architectural space. The fact that buildings were constructed to complement human beings, to complement their bodies as well as their spirit. And I think it is in the absence of human beings uh, from her photographs that this sensation becomes even stronger. If you look at these images as um, forensic documents of a underlying uh, cultural condition, they are indeed um, immense. They are making you imagine spaces, imagine situations that are beyond the, the image. What Candida's photographs do, or Candida's works do, is they bring you in corporeally. It's not just a sort of visual thing. Um, and I really, really enjoy that. The experience of Candida's photographs is always totally different to that of the space itself. It's always bringing something new and surprising and um, memorable. She is creating archives of uses, of spaces, of architectures, but at the same time, you also feel there's a certain immediacy. Uh, this is a paradox uh, come together in one exact moment. <laughs>